Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. It's late at night. I've not recorded the daily devotionals. I don't like to record the daily devotionals days in advance. I like it to be done just hours before it's actually sent out uh, so that it really does come out of our prayer and the many things that you're praying for and the things that we're talking about and that and into and influenced by the many comments messages uh, emails that people send uh, but there are days when it doesn't get done till late because of just things that are happening today I've been traveling and I've had one of those days where if it could go wrong it was going to go wrong we got up very early this morning I'm currently in Atlanta just out uh, just out, or actually just outside of Atlanta in a, little, a beautiful place called Clayton. And I have some meetings here. A- Atlanta is where the next mission event will be held and that will be a fantastic event when it comes in a few weeks' time. And, and, and more details will come about that. Uh, well, we got up very early to travel, Rosemary and I. We did that, eventually we get there. As I say, everything is, everything is delayed. And we eventually arrive in Atlanta and we stop somewhere to have something to eat. We go into a very small cafe. We're there. The, the, at the end, the waiter comes along and brings the bill for, to be paid. I gave them the credit card, gives me back the credit card. And I stood up and rather than fill it out at my table, behind me there was, uh, there was the back of the other chair. There was no one there. And so it was quite a, a space on the top. And so I stood there beside the waiter talking and I began to fill it out. And as I did, I picked up the credit card and pushed it to the side and or put it to the side. And then I accidentally bumped it and it fell over the, the back of the chair. This big chair that had been built into the restaurant it was not something you could move. And it slides between the back of the wood and the material, the, 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 the upholstery, and disappears into this giant bench that 20 or so people could sit on and has been built in. This credit card is my only credit card that I have um, in US currency. And so I'm in the United States and I am <laughs> without a US credit card. And I'm here for a whole series of meetings that are going to take place over the next few, uh, next few uh, w- days and uh, week. And, uh, and so I, uh, as soon as I did it, the first thought occurred to me is how silly and clumsy, Bruce. I looked over at Rosemary and I told her and she went, well, what are we going to do now? And, and w- we figured it out. We figured it out. We're all good. But... Uh, you know, we can panic at times when things don't go right. But because of Christ in our life, we're actually meant to live differently. We can lose our peace, but we're meant to keep our peace. It says in Psalm 145, verse 18, The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Once, Psalm 145, 18. The Lord is near. And even, even though my silliness and clumsiness, uh, it, it, my clumsiness uh, occurred, God is with me. And why is God, how is God with me? Through the Holy Spirit. In our lives, many of us, we face circumstances and situations and days that just don't go well. And it's in the midst of that we have to retrain our mind to remember God is with me. And that what I'm facing, God can, God, God can give me the gifts through the Holy Spirit to get through. It says, in, it says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The circumstances that we are in sometimes... And, and the fact that you meet Christian people who are incredible people of peace and, and, and stillness and, str- and strength and great activity all at the same time 
are at peace is because the Holy Spirit dwells within them and they've trained their mind in the Holy Spirit to live differently. And so when things happen in your life that, you, that are accidents or your silliness, know this, God, that's right, God is with you. The Holy Spirit is with you. And we have to cultivate the mindset that the Holy Spirit will work in our mind and heart very well so that we, we can live differently with a peace that passes understanding. I've met committed Christians who've faced tr tremendously terrible news with the doctor and there's a peace. People who've faced relational and financial issues, there's a peace. And, and, and even when we do silly things like losing our one and only credit card in the, in the United States, um, there should be a peace that's within us. I want you to know that God is with you and we need to practice that peace in our heart today. Loving Father, we thank you because you're good. Bless us, watch over us, and keep us safe. And we give you thanks and give you praise, for you are good. Allow your peace to reign in us. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. So Rosemary says to me, Bruce, you better go off to the bank. So we then went and found the nearest bank. I walked in. I said to the, to the, to the bank teller who was there, listen, I've... I've, I've lost my credit card. And the bank teller looked at me and, and I said, well, I was just standing in a restaurant and I pushed it off the top of a chair and it's fallen down between the chair and the upholstery and I can never get it again. They'd have to rip the chair apart. And the, the supervisor, the bank supervisor, who happened to be standing before behind was a woman. She just rolled her eyes and thought, how silly are you? Well, Rosemary might have thought that as well, as well as laughed. But anyway, I've got a new credit card coming. And in the next few days, it's going to be a lot of starving. But we'll be okay. Hey, God bless you. Don't do anything silly. And, and if you do, remember that the peace of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, is with you. God bless you. See you tomorrow. And don't forget wherever you are, God's never ever far from you.